Hey guys, this is Dan Allen with the uh, Network and Security Practice here at Green Pages Logix One. There's been a lot of information about the Cisco ASA line, including SourceFire and the IPS offerings that are out there, so we figured we'd do a rundown to get it clear. Many of you have heard about the Cisco acquisition of SourceFire in October of 2013. They finished the acquisition in 2014 and started releasing new products into their product line. Gone now is the 5510, the 20, the 40, the 50, and they're slowly going to be pushing out, I believe, the IPS Classic, which was the uh, IPS modules, including the CX hardware drives that you would put inside your ASAs. The new ASA lineup is still the 5505, robust branch office and small office router and firewall, as well as the 5512, 15, 25, 45, 55, and 85 dash X. What's great about these new firewalls is that the CX module comes on, so on top of a solid state disk inside the ASAs. So anytime you're ordering these, unless you're trying to cut costs, I would always include these hard drives. It'll give you the ability in the future to use one of the two IPS offerings that you can use on these ASAs. The two offerings we have are SourceFire, which is the new acquired company, and XIPS, which is the next gen firewall IPS that came on the ASA-X line, hence the IPSX. With XIPS, you get the traditional next-gen firewall IPS that works with the uh, Cisco SIO Management Center for zero-day and anomaly detection on your device to protect you as soon as possible. Also an option is application visibility control that gives you the ability to wrap policies and configurations around users and the applications they use and what kind of traffic you want to allow through and inside of your environment and organization. As well, you can get web security essentials, URL filtering, and also Cisco web-based security. Those are uh, some additional options that might particularly fit your environment. The SourceFire IPS option comes with some similar things. IPS, which is now called NGIPS for Next Gen IPS, which also includes uh, AirSnort, which is like a Wireshark packet capturing utility, giving you additional visibility with an interface that you're probably used to if you've been with any of these devices or those uh, products before, the AirSnort or Wireshark. Application visibility control as well. But the interface is a little different. It's um, a little simpler, more like an HTML5 versus an ASDM uh, Cisco IPS experience. Uh, clickability into uh, different devices. You can drill down to an application or a specific user and device group over a certain amount of time and get some very dynamic and specific information for what you need. As well, they have uh, advanced malware, malware protection, which would protect against the uh, current heart bleed and shell shock uh, bugs as well as URL filtering, which categorizes uh, types of web reputation um, sources from the internet to control what your users do and don't see, things like adult themes or like eBay and things like that. So I hope this gives you guys uh, some additional insight into the firewall ASA IPS options, including what AS uh, Cisco is doing with the SourceFire acquisition. Here at Green Pages, we're committed to bringing you cutting edge technology and the services around them. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you can feel free to uh, come to us, look for me or uh, Nick in the networking security practice.